with so many people that changed up Cause they thought I got some fame more I'm trying to run out this change up I'm trying to get me a rain truck My mama, she told me keep going so I'm talking so I spit out this pain for And lately I've been to myself, I've been looking for help I don't know where to ask for A nigga too real, Joe Concord But when they ask me myself, I want to be a boy Shoot moving like a nigga with a Polaroid Hey, this got my vision blurred like an Android Everywhere I got it on me, I be paranoid So don't come with that static, cause we make a lot of noise Cause we got a lot of Criticized by these folks and I ain't even made a nigga steady working. I heard some people that didn't deserve it. Pray to God to be a better person. But I know the devil's still lurking. I'ma chase that bad till my feet and my hands hurt. I'm high, I don't know where to land first. It's broken, my heart hurt. Got niggas and jealous, I'm in the dirt. I'm in the pussy making water worse. But you gotta spend some money first. Like Okay, you got the velvet juggernaut here and you may wonder what's in my cup. You know exactly what it is. You can't vibe if you're not drinking 500 vodka. Why, you ask? Great question. 500 vodka is gluten-free, corn-based, offers three outstanding flavors unmatched in the market today, with super ultra-premium neutral and combo-flavored vodkas, coconut, pineapple, and strawberry lime. So look, drink sexy, drink responsibly, and drink 500 vodka. Now, let's get on to the show. And just like that, you're here with your favorite podcast in the motherfucking world. Not just your favorite podcast, but what is it, Scorp? Hold on, I had to take my tear right quick. Thought I had the wrong tear. Oh, you thought you was in a squeaker? <laughs> yeah, we're good. It's, it's a little bit. That time we were late. You know who it is? favorite motherfucking podcast in the motherfucking world uh but you just ain't gotta hear it from me some people say it better than i do uh scorp what kind of podcast is this uh got my seat just oh tell them like i'm a 500 right oh yeah what kind of podcast is this for those who don't know now you're finna know (laughs) each and every time we are the number one motherfucking podcast in the motherfucking world and all motherfucking podcasts, even better than Joe Budden podcast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Something tells me a shot was fired. <laughs> the clip has been emptied. There's no more bananas in this bitch. <laughs> uh, with that being said, I definitely want to make sure to give shout outs to uh, anybody tuned in. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. Definitely want to make sure to give a shout out. Definitely want to make sure to give a shout out to Lenopoly. Definitely want to make sure to give a shout out to everyone listening. Uh, the head mother in charge. Definitely want to make sure to give a shout out to Paris, France, because they've been tuning in real heavy for some reason. I don't know what it is, but we y'all keep on doing that. Nice. What they say? Uh, bonjour and oui 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 oui. Uh, forgive us. That's all we know. But <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe y'all could lead us to the water and we can learn a bunch more. Uh, shout out to Sito, continue to listen. Uh, shout out to good old uh, Amy, supporter, raise the roof for you. Uh, shout out to everybody in the group that keeps the bullshit popping and little shit dropping. Uh, shout out to Sonya, shout out to uh, Enoch Says, we got your boy uh, Mr. Andrew Cantu. And speaking of the Facebook group. A wise man said, if he had to reach way down, mm. Jesus will pick you up. Well, today, I had to reach way down, and I'm not Jesus, but Velvet picked you up. Because we got Chris Anderson in Ooh. this bitch. <laughs> Talk about it, Mr. Anderson. How's it going? In this deed. Indeed. Anybody need a shout-out from you? Me? Anybody uh, that deserves it in your life. Or you can just say everyone's a piece of shit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! No. Oh man! I think you, it, that that was the shout out. No, nah, no, nah, I just oh. shout out to all my peace, my fam. You know, everybody that keeps it real. You know, everybody on the on the page that you know we have a good time, just cutting it. You Amen. know, love them. I love it. With that being said, don't hesitate to check us out on the Patreon if you're feeling the need to make a pledge and uh, show love around the backside. Make sure to pass that plate around. And we do want to make sure we got you, you get yourself an opportunity to grab some merch. Hit the link tree on the Instagram, Velvet Vibes Podcast, all one word. Uh, Scorp, 
Anybody need a shout out from you? Or you have any church announcements? Oh man, first and foremost, <clears throat> give a shout out to the queen of the podcast and her essence. You know, the hey, Mr. Napa. <laughs> give a shout out to the head mama in charge. <laughs> The artist from no, nah, I ain't gonna do that. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I said I ain't gonna do that no more. You get us grounded. Give us, <laughs> yeah, for real. Give a shout out to Amy. Give a shout out to, like you said, Mr. Andrew Cantu and Enoch says we're doing some big things with them. So it's a movement coming, y'all. It's a movement coming. Hey, Amen. For real, we ain't playing no games. Give a shout out to. The 662, you know what I'm saying? That's home right there. I give a different shout out to that. Give a shout out to Valley, Alabama, you know, and all the listeners around the world, you know. Like I said once before, if it weren't for y'all, we wouldn't be doing this. So uh, we thank y'all, we love y'all, we appreciate that. Amen. Uh, with that being said, now it's time to do what we always do and what we do well to get to the shits. Now, being that today is uh, the day before I hop onto a plane and experience some more vacation, I do want to let you know there won't be no top five comments, but there will be a whole bunch of fuckery going on today. So we're going to get right to this shit, and I'm going to start with Mr. Anderson, because he just looks like he's in the mood for fuckery. (laughs) Now, with this being said, uh, I was sitting wondering, with my legs crossed, Eating on a piece of Canadian bacon. (laughs) And then something crossed my mind. (laughs) How cool should you be with your baby mama? And it's acceptable. And also, how cool can a woman be with their baby daddy without it being questionable? (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, So when we say cool, are we talking just, you know, openness? Cordial. Cordial. Yeah. Nah, I said, I said, How much is too much? To me, there is no too much. I said, just you can be cool as you want to be, you know, because if you're together, you know what I mean? You just got to do your thing, you know? Indeed. Uh, you, did you say cool as you want to be? Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Scorp. <laughs> and when you say, hold on, I need you to elaborate on this. When mm-hmm. you say cool as you want to be, hmm. does this mean cordial as you want to be or? You know, as friendly as you want to be, you know, just, uh, you know, just be open. Okay. You know. And and if uh do you have offspring? Uh I don't have any of mine. My wife's got three girls. Oh, no wonder you're speaking in this manner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Anderson is not in this situation. Scorp. I might need to tag you in on this. What's up? Now how cool can you be with your baby mama without it being a concern in your household when you have a a new bay? As they would say. Oh, <laughs> right before I'm going to push it like this. I do not talk to my baby mama. Period. Unless it's something dealing with our child. That's mm. the only thing I stay in contact with her about. So what if she want to call you and just tell you about her day? And uh, I mean... That is some pretty weather outside. <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit. <laughs> I mean, to me, first and foremost, if, if she called, you know what I'm saying, nine times out of ten, I'm, oh, thinking, I'm thinking, you know, I'm talking to my daughter, you know what I'm saying, but if it's just something else, I ain't going to lie to you, half time I pay attention, half time I don't. So you ain't going to be paying her no attention no way? It, if it depends on what the conversation is. But what about your, uh, your bae? Now, if, you, if your baby mama gave you a call to tell you about the weather... Back home, would your bae have a a reaction from this? Well, I'm pretty like this. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Now I see where we're going. <laughs> I have been around bae when I was talking to a baby mama. Oh man, did and you have she... sweat on your forehead? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> she heard the conversation. Did you take off running to the porch? No, for what? Oh, okay. I ain't got nothing to have with my baby mama. Thug life. I mean, she did call me about one situation, and Bay got mad and told me that I better not do it. And I told her I'm not that stupid. I'm not gonna do that. What was she? Uh... I'm not gonna put that out there. <laughs> well... I'll tell you after the podcast. Oh, it, it must have been. <laughs> yeah, we. I don't want you to have to relive yeah. that event. I'm just gonna say this. 
when it comes to my baby mother and we live the same life, we're uh, not cool at all. But if she was calling me to tell me how the weather is outside, it is a beautiful day or she just remembered the good times. I have this cool feature on my phone. It's a red button. <laughs> when you push that button, you begin to hear a beeping sound and you notice that the call has been disconnected. That's the feature that I would utilize for uh, for purposes of not getting into any fuckery and bullshit. Not to mention that uh, I agree with you what you're saying. Like, if you're gonna talk to baby mama, what's up? What what does the kid need? Does the kid need a toothbrush? Does the kid need a sock? If you tell me it's a rainy day, thank you for your time. I'm gonna press the red button. Now flip the coin. How cool? And I'm gonna go back to Scorp. How cool can baby with the baby daddy? Or have you ever seen her with sweat on her forehead? From <laughs> yeah, that's one situation. Yeah, I have. The and men are here and ready to fellowship and with you. They wasn't. <laughs> I put it like this: they weren't cool with baby daddy. And baby daddy was trying to start some ish. What was this ish? And one of the baby daddies was finna get his ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> what he do? The next one, I told, I told Bay, I told with the with the her baby daddy, I told I'm gonna pull up on him at his job. She told me don't do it. Oh, the hell! But well, why was you gonna do this? Hmm. Were you tired of him being a father? No, he ain't was being that. too great I of a mean, father. <laughs> I'm not, it's not even that. <laughs> him, he, he doesn't. He's put my name in a conversation in they situation that my name shouldn't have been in. I what? put it to you like that because I can say one situation he was like she would call him saying she need help. You know she he need to be in. Their son life. Okay. And he always coming up with excuses of not being in his son life. Mm-hmm. And then one day we were just like we were struggling. We was in a struggle. You know, everybody go through a struggle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she called him saying she she needed help with some food. Which that I understand because Was there any- I didn't I didn't have the funds or she didn't have the funds to buy food for the house. Mm-hmm. So she reached out to him, and then I get he so called called the attitude, and he was like, he can't take care of you and your dude that you with. I said, <laughs> well, that that ticked me off right there. Oh, that's what he thought that yeah. that, she, that he was gonna put a baloney in your mouth. Yeah, he, that ticked me off. I told him, I said, first of all, I said this motherfucker ain't taking care of shit over him. <laughs> He ain't got no room to talk. Yeah, oh, he ain't take his damn thing over him. What was his uh, response to oh, this? She didn't, she didn't tell me. That's what I told him. I said, hey, I'm, I'm going to pull up at his job. So uh, I ain't going to tell where his job is. Yeah. I'm going to pull up. Now, uh, did you uh, talk to God and have a seat and learn to relax? I've been there for long. Yeah. <laughs> you know me, man. I love if, if I'm not going to, if it get to me a lot, you know, I'm going to do something about it, but if it's just like, oh, some fuck shit, I'm going to just wash my hands with it, dog. Yeah, I feel you on that. Now, uh, we're going to a place with this when it's talking to baby mamas and baby daddies. No, what's, what's your perspective on this? Oh, on the baby daddy? I'm, 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 glad, you, I'm glad you brought me back there. Yeah. Let me take a sip of this 500. <laughs> <laughs> some good shit. Now... When it comes to the baby daddy, you can, I'm, I'm going to agree, you can be cool uh, in a cordial, as Mr. Anderson said, yeah. a cordial manner. Yes, we can meet up. Yes, we can talk about the child. Now, if I find you twiddling your hair and telling us, of, yes, it's been some great weather. Uh, I did see the new episode of Jerry Springer today. Then I'm going to uh, press the red button on your device and we're going to have a conversation. But if we're talking about your offspring, I'm going to salute this. Even if you stand outside to talk to the father for more seconds than I feel needed, you can't be a player hater on the kid. Yeah. So I'm going to support this movement. 
But once it starts, seems like somebody didn't put the left signal light on and took a left. Because the velvet ain't no motherfucking fool. We could press the red button on the phone. And we could press the red button on the whole situation. If that's what we're going to do. Uh, we once had an episode, and I don't know if you were here yet, Scorpion. We were talking about, can you take the child with the baby mama without the new bae? <laughs> Was you here for this? I don't know. And uh, since we discussed this, I just want to know your perspective. If the baby mama came in town and said, I need you to come with me and your child. We're going to go to the zoo. Don't bring your lady because we don't need this negativity in her, our life. What, oh, wow. what would be your response to her? Question is, what baby response going to be? That's <laughs> real <laughs> Yeah. That's gonna be real quick. <laughs> What's <a> baby response? <laughs> That's a she fucked up question. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She find that. Oh. And you're just gonna head and share that with her and let her have her yeah, own response. Right. Something tells me that you know how to. Uh, have you been media trained for this kind of situation? No. Yeah. <laughs> life. Yeah, oh. exactly. Just like, oh my god! But going back to the baby dead yeah, situation, yeah, take take us there. You know what I'm saying? I don't have couple baby dead. Well, you've got baby dead. One baby daddy tried to be my friend, yeah. and he don't know shit about me. You know, want to hang out? No, no, I don't, I don't do that. He want to hang with you? Yeah. What? What to to see who's around I, his kids? I, I or? guess. I I, I I said no, I can't do that. One, I can understand it for in you know, a somewhat to meet if the, the baby daddy said I want to yeah. meet the person around my kid. As far as hanging out and we're gonna go play putt putt golf, bruh, <laughs> I'm good on that whole situation. But uh, now this is where it gets real alarming here. Now, if your baby mama was. And this may not apply to Mr. Anderson as well, but I do want to hear his feedback. Was talking down and telling your kid that you was a punk ass bitch, uh. and that you're not there for the for the child, and saying your dad he's a punk ass bitch. You know when you see him, give him the middle finger because he ain't worth the fuck. Now, what would be your response to this? Would you uh, would you tell the child that no, the mom is the punk ass bitch? <laughs> like, like, how do you defend yourself in this situation? Well, first and foremost, me because I've have, been down this road, but I, I have. Oh, so yeah. I have. I had known somebody been down this road, <laughs> but me personally, it's the old town road, you know. I ain't know. I ain't never been through that, as you know, because my little girl, she know who her daddy is, mm-hmm. and that I ain't got to worry about. It, so, but if that happened. Would you just clear it up with the child, or would you say the mother's a piece of crap? Probably the both. To teach her a lesson. Because <laughs> it depends on. <laughs> well, I can't say that. Because <laughs> young kids these days, they smart as I don't know what. Oh, know? boy. Like, I can say, for instance, my little girl, she's five years old. <sighs> she know everything. So you would just handle it with her? Yeah, but I'll probably wait till later. Until she get a lot older, I can respect so this. she can understand the situation. Yeah, you know I mean, because I, I'm gonna, because I, I got the, I know the baby daddy side real well. Oh, okay. you know what I mean? Because I, I mean, I may not be have my kids, but you know, my wife's got three girls, and they all got three different dads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, my nine year old is my youngest, uh-huh. and um, she's got a piece of shit of a dad. And uh, but he's in her, but he's in her life. Yeah. And um, like you said, they're smart, you know, and, you know, every year, I mean, she's probably probably about five, six years old when she started kind of realizing what her dad was about because he's a big time alcoholic. Mm -hmm. It's not even alcoholic, but he's just a, not a good alcoholic. Forgive us for drinking at this moment. Well, you know what I mean? But (laughs) he's just, he's just, he's just a a shit person. I mean, he's awful. You know, does bad bad things to her, says bad things, you know, I mean, just, you know, just always effing with her head. And um, and so you know, it's hard for me to sit back and watch that crap. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I just want to rip his head off. Mm-hmm. You know, and I want to tell her all kind. Of, you know, and we you know we're pretty open with her about her dad because she knows. Yeah. You know, but we don't go and try to bash outside of what we need to. But she yeah. knows her dad's an alcoholic. She knows what he's about. And she know you know. It's a way to handle. It. And so we just got to kind of. It's a fine line. You mm-hmm. know, but uh, but yeah, and like like you said, he wanted to be my friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? And at first, I try to do it for the, my, for, I was call that my awkward? daughter. Was that awkward for you? 
It was like because he was all you know. I'm the new guy stepping in, so you know. And he was and he from day one when I started to date my ex. I mean, not my ex, but my wife. Mm-hmm. Um, he didn't. He hadn't even met me yet, and he was already saying how he's going to kill me, kick my ass, and all this kind of crap. Oh you yeah, know? yeah. So that's how so it started. You, so that's how, this right. Yeah. So he's he's always been that way, you know. Yeah. And I don't know how many times he's threatened me, called me on the phone, you know, all kinds <laughs> of stuff. And I'm like, all right, come on. Yeah. You know. And um. Yeah. But uh. But yeah, so I mean, I, you know, I've dealt with a lot of that stuff, man, and it, it it's tough, man. And but and I, even, you know, I took him to the bar one time. I said, "Hey, let's talk." I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I'm about. I'm gonna respect you as it a father. Sounds like a strange experience. Yeah, but you know, I was trying to be do the right thing. You know, yeah. so I said, well, "I'm gonna respect you as a father. I know you're gonna be in our life. You know, I, this is what I'm about. I'm not here to overtake. You know, I'm gonna be a part of a life kind of thing." And so I thought maybe, but you know, he's just not right in the head. And so, and so yeah. that night did it work out at first? No. I it mean, was already bad. I, 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 I like it when he came and dropped her off or whatever stuff like that. I would try to be cordial, mm-hmm. you know. But after after time and what I saw, was about all the shit he's done. Yeah, I just I got I told my Washed wife. Your hands. I, I told my I walked to my wife. I said, you know what? I don't care if shit comes in the house. I'll be in the living room. I ain't gonna even look at him. I ain't talking to him. Yeah, you know, I ain't gonna give him the time of day. You know I hear what you. Mean? And that's how I've been now. You know, and so yeah. he knows it. So yeah. I would probably be the same way. I just have to wash my hands of it. Because you're probably going to do, like you said, uh, a Mortal Kombat fatality if you... Got to, man. Because <laughs> the better data went out anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. Like, with me, I've been through that one, uh, you know, same thing like you said, Scorp. Like, first I was like, you know, he's young and everything. Now my son is 13, so I was able to take that walk in the park and do a... Pull my microphone out and, and, and do a little... Conduct a little interview... And find out what is the information that has been placed in your head yeah. so I can clear that up. But I did clear it up in a way, not how you how you're saying how you wouldn't like, I'm not going to go, your mom's a piece of shit. Yeah. Even though I have a thought bubble over my head, I just leave it in the thought bubble. Yeah. But what come out of my mouth, I'm like, look, this is what happened. And this is what's been happening. And I hear him out what's going on or what you're being told. Yeah. I pull out my little notepad, and at one, the good thing is, once they get to that age, like the age I'm saying, is at a point where you could just be like, "Look, you can make a decision now mm-hmm. where you want to be." I don't have to say she's trash or she say I'm trash, and we have a trash contest and doing all this other shit. At the end of the day, what does the child want to be? This going to take you somewhere else. Now, when it comes to getting married and taking the Bay, and you've been down this road. Mr. Anderson's still down this road, so I'm glad. I'm glad he's in the building. <laughs> and I've never been. I've been engaged, but I haven't gone down the the altar and see her with that white dress. We're not getting no younger. We might as well do it. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, but check this out. Was well, and I score because you seem like a man of knowledge here. When you put a ring, when you put a ring on it, <laughs> when you put a ring on it, what need to change? And this we're gonna talk some real shit now. What need to change from what go on now, from when that ring come on that you expect? Oh man, because we ain't gonna be no punk ass bitches. Shout out to Chauncey Durrell to stand up for the men. <laughs> it's always saying, "Put your crown on it," <laughs> and trying to shut down the feminist community. <laughs> Guys a character, man. <laughs> that guy's a character. But, um, whew, there will be feedback on this, I'm sure. So, where's watch your email after this. <laughs> the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure I go to sleep, nigga. So, come yeah. back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, go to sleep when this episode drops. It's going to be. But, um, we want what to things need to change? First and foremost, you know, you got to change your ways. How you like before you got married? Yeah, you got changed. Like now, what you want to see from her though? Oh, I mean, if you started off good and it continues to stay good uh, when you get married, then mm-hmm. you just want to see it keep that way. But if you start off good and things change a little bit. Then it go back to being good, you know. Like you wanted to stay in gear, roller coaster ride, and all this type of stuff. (laughs) Because (laughs) me from experience, and I used to hear this a lot from a lot of other married people. You gonna have your ups and downs in marriage, just Mm -hmm. like a relationship. 
Yeah. Only thing different between a relationship, to me, a relationship and marriage is a ring. And a piece of paper. Yeah, and a piece of paper. <laughs> you said something there. You got your name on a dotted line. Taxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to death do us part. So... No. I mean, cause I can yeah, say go for it. me personally, what I used to do before I got married was, you know, I used to hang out a lot and stuff like that. But when I got after I got married, you know, I slowly stopped. You gave up hoeing. That's what you're telling us. You know what I'm saying? Because after that, you know. That's when <laughs> Layla was born. Like okay. I say, like a year later, mm-hmm. Layla was born, and you know I wanted to stop all the stuff that I was doing, and you know become a a, a family guy. You know, because married, got my first child, and all positive that stuff. show. You know, so had to stop all of the foolishness. Yeah. But then again, there comes a time when. You, Things don't work out in a marriage. Yeah. That foolishness calls you back. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> it's up to you to answer that call yeah. or ignore that call. When when the hose is reaching out. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. A couple times I've answered that call. And did you press just, the red button? Just hung out with them. Just <laughs> all, <laughs> nothing else. I just hung out, had a couple parties, drinks, and I went on back home. That was it. Did you guys? Uh, this this sounds like Bible study. Mm, I didn't do nothing out the way. So they be texting after them? No. no. The fact of the matter is, I had to see them at work the very next day. Uh, oh man! So Did they give you feedback on your behavior. <laughs> yeah. So, but you know, other than that, you know, they did respect that I was married. You need to. They help. didn't. They didn't push on me like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I put it like this: You got some people, <laughs> and this can go both ways. Mm-hmm. I put it like this: Go both ways. You got some people out there, you know what I'm saying? They going through some stuff in their marriage. Talk about it. You know what I'm saying? You seen them in movies and TV shows? They go to a bar, go get some drinks, and a woman talking to him at the bar and and you get to remember when you was a pimp going on further and things slip into a different direction stuff like that and your I zipper have, just falls down I have seen that <laughs> I have seen that it's like that fork in the road <laughs> I have seen that happen before with some other married people yeah that I know but um like I said yeah with me personally when I was married you know I had a lot of female friends. Had. And some respected that I was married and some didn't give a damn. If you were married now, would you even have female friends or you'd just be like, forget it? I mean, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> because. It's a new era. Yeah. They will rape you. Yeah. It won't even be you no more. They're going to rip your britches right off. So I say, what about you, Mr. Anderson? You believe in. Uh, I don't know. I think. Like I said, it's just more, like once you've been through it, you realize what a headache it is yeah. and what it can cause, and you just got to is it worth it or not? Because it's, I mean, it's easy to slide down that slippery slope, you know. <laughs> but especially, like, especially if things ain't going good, you know what yeah. I mean? And you get that ego stroked or, you know, that confidence boosted. And he's you know? saying slippery slope and stroke and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not use this term. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man. It's not like, 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 talk. Said, like you said, man. You can just have them one that one day or that one night, y'all just have a big huge argument. And that's when you think about going back down that road. I mean, and like me personally, when I was married, we got into it. I always left the house, always with your phone ringing the whole time. I cut it off. (laughs) I cut it off and leave it at the house. Did, did I make it worse? That seemed like leaving it at the house. Yeah, when you cut it off or you leave it at the house, and make it worse. And when you leave it at the house, know, she gonna you go know they it. gonna no. You know, I put it somewhere. <laughs> I put it somewhere she could never find it. behind the toilet, yeah. and I put it on vibrate. <laughs> so <laughs> vibrate is shaking today. Vibrate is uh, silent. Yeah, but um, we got into it. You know what I'm saying? I either, I always left the house. I either walk. 
because it was a store right up the um uh, up the road. Mm-hmm. Or oh, I just took off in the car. Okay. That's what I and I just drive to the store. Just the park. You know, yeah, clear my mind on what's going on. Some actually, some people that work for them, like yeah, they, it they work. To, it works for me. They need to separate themselves, but at the same time, when you have a lady and you leave, yeah, she think you going to see somebody. Else. She think you going. For yeah, some I haven't been down that road too. That was, but when I come back, you know what I'm saying. You got to hang at the mailbox outside. That way, you can say I'm right here by the mailbox. And tell her to look out the window so she can peek at you. <laughs> but my thing is with me, every time I left, see the apartment complex that I stayed in, mm. you know, the um, my ex would be in the same apartment complex. So one night I went taking the trash out or checking the mailbox, and I ran into my ex. And me personally In the same apartment? The same apartments. You knew she lived there? Yeah And she did too Cause the manager <laughs> told her And I'm like Man She left out And I told Whoa. him like Why did you tell her this? <laughs> now I gotta hear this from her Every single time <laughs> But me <sighs> Being the nice guy You had a conversation with her I went back to the house And I told my ex-wife You know I'm like Hey, I want to go take the trash out of to the mailbox. And, and she I, thought it was part of your plan. And I ran to my ex. Yeah. She like said it was an excuse. You, yeah, she like, said uh, So every time <laughs> every time we got into it and I left the house, then she always used it. Oh, you going to meet that bitch. You know, the mm-hmm. females, they love to use that like. Yeah. You going to meet that bitch. I'm there's, like, There's really? bitches at the mailbox. <laughs> really? <laughs> So you couldn't hide at the mailbox. <laughs> no, I couldn't do the damn thing. I couldn't even walk into the stove. Yeah, she think I'm going to see her. Oh, hell no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but like I said, shit. when I get back, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk about shit. Yeah. Well, they're going to say, uh, you know, what happened? They're going to pull out a chair. and She used to be in the back room. And I just With tears. stay in the living room. Try, I try to put my own self on the couch. It still didn't work. Uh, you be playing Zero and she be playing Whitney Houston. It still don't work. <laughs> I've been in there watching TV, trying to hurry up and fall asleep before she come in there. And oh, they'll home. wake you up too. Yeah, she's wait. like, oh, so you ain't coming to bed? Oh, it's an issue now. I can't no. even put my own hey, self on the couch. Hey, you ever done this? Hey, you ever been in an argument with your woman? And like it be late or something And you fall asleep And then when you fall asleep Y'all didn't resolve it And then when you wake up in the morning They be like Oh you slept good You uh You didn't care Cause if you care You would've talked to me about it But you went to sleep No Then they get mad that you Went unconscious During the heat of the night What I used to do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I used to do We We still mad at each other right Yeah I try to put myself on the edge of the bed as possible. <laughs> Had that big ass gap in the bed. That yeah. big separation. So you don't want to get too close. No. Oh. Because you know, if you get too close, somebody you don't like revenge. Sex. Somebody gonna somebody gonna give in. Mm. Do you, you know like revenge saying? sex or are you against it? Yeah, I had a couple times. I ain't gonna lie to you, but you give it to her out of anger. Sometimes. <laughs> What about you, Doctor Anderson? Oh yeah, I mean, like usually, like with like at least my situation, it it makes it better. You know, yeah, just, just get it out, <laughs> wake up the next morning, you just start over, good to go. You okay. know, dep- you know, most of the time, not depending on what it is. Though. You be healed already in the morning? Yeah, well, I'm I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm mean, like me, I don't like I don't like things unresolved. You know, so I'm all about trying to get it fixed because I'm, right? I'm not waking up the next day starting to shit like this. You know what I mean? Man. I'm all I need to settle the shit tonight, and you know, and I'll be blunt with her. You know what I mean? And um. Sometimes it works, sometimes I don't, but I do my best because, like, I'm 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 not waking up the next morning and you know starting out my day shitty. They will do that. They'll, they'll let this shit carry <laughs> over and over until you be like, pull out a chair. Well, and a few Let's times that, that I would say that I knew that wasn't going to be resolved when, when, it was, when it was bad. You know, like say you go through your roller coaster, yeah, and you, you get your, your bottoms, and um, you know, she she sent me out of the house. I mean, I, I was staying at a friend's house for a couple of days. Oh wow! I mean, like that. You know, those are the kinds. You know, you ain't waking up and ain't gonna be good. So, you, so she literally tells me, you yeah. need to go think about the part. You know, so I'm like, all right. And then she, it happened three times. Happened, I think, it happened. What well, happened twice? And I told her, I told her, I said, the third time, you it's do that time, you know, you could think about it. 
If you keep I, telling I, the puppy to leave, yeah. the puppy may not return. So, and that had to happen again. But we worked on things, you know. But like, like I said, don't do it again. Three, three strikes, you're out, you know. I like how this gentleman thinks. So sometimes you got to bring sports into the equation. Yeah. I say, uh, <clears throat> toward the original question, when you get married, what needs to change? Now, right now, I wear large briefs, but let me tell you, when, when I put a ring on it. I'm going to wear the obese draws in the house. Obese draws. Not the capris. Not the skinny britches. Uh, I think, I know, I don't know if you saw what Fantasia had been bringing up. And this is a topic I wanted to bring up too, anyway. That video that I ain't watched. It's been a lot of talk about women wanting to wear the big draws. Women wanting to run the household. Men not making the decisions. As as Chauncey Darrell would say, men being the punk ass bitch, uh, the, <laughs> the woman decide what's for supper. And don't ask the man. The woman decide where you're gonna move to, and you say it doesn't matter to me, honey. Uh, when the wedding comes and they say what color flowers, and you say it's all about you, baby. And <laughs> and they say, hey, what kind of dog we're gonna get? Is it gonna be a poodle or a Rottweiler? And you look at that Rottweiler. And you say, I'll take the poodle, honey. Because you want to appease her needs. But really, the the male species has become a punk-ass bitch. And I'm here to reclaim the crown. Now, Scorp, what are women doing that's pissing you off these days? It was time to vent. I'm going to put some more liquor in my cup. <laughs> it's time to vent about here. What is the women doing that, they, that they're trying to wear the crown? Oh, man. This in general. So all of us that's married and got a bay at home. This just in general, what you see women doing. So if you take it personal, if you think you fit them shoes, that's your problem for putting them on. I'm saying, who said don't take it personal? Yeah. Who that, Monica? Yeah, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal, women. Because y'all doing this. Yeah, because we talking about all women now. Which it's, time, you it's time to make a change. What, what have you been seeing, Scorp? They got to change. Oh, wow. Some of everything. They be talking to you crazy. Hella crazy. Hella crazy. It's dudes out here get beat by their women. I know it too. And it's dudes out here that like, like we discussed this before about like, you know, asking, can you go outside? It's a difference between informing your lady where you're going to be, making sure she's aware for your safety and saying, honey, could you sign this permission slip? I would like to go with the boys and watch a boxing match, but I need you to sign here the permission slip and put a stamp on my hand that says excellent work. I tell my one, uh, I'm going to head to the studio. Do you need a permission slip sign? No. Nah, I told her today. <laughs> she asked me, what you doing? Heading to the studio. Exactly what I see. And when you, do you have to hear some? Because some people, they'd be thinking about the future. They know they're going to hear some bullshit after the fact. Because a woman will tell you, you'll say, I'm about to leave. They'll be like, all right, mm-hmm, okay then. And Every you're, time I say that, I just walk out the house. They get the smack in their lips, and you know when you get back that they're going to be with their arms folded like Rasputia. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. You keep doing that, you ain't doing shit. You can't, you know, Is you that how you do? You just walk out the door? No, nah, I mean, I'm still respectful. Like, you know, like tonight I said, hey, you know, I got invited out tonight. Velvet to the podcast, you know. Yeah, and she's like, "Really?" She goes, "You should go." I'm like, "All right, Say less. I'm out." <laughs> you know, yeah. it was that easy. You know, I mean, you know, so you just you did just, you tell her before time or right when? Because when you tell a woman at the moment, that's when it pissed them off. Like if you tell them early, hey, later on tonight, I'm gonna do X, Y, Z. They don't really be ticked off, but when you just jump up off the couch and just grab your keys and be like, "I'm out of this bitch," <laughs> then they be like, "What? Hold on!" Oh yeah, <laughs> I put you like this. Half time, some of them need to start acting like they don't remember shit. Oh, yeah, you tell them. Then they say, you ain't say yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, you tell them like a week in advance or early that week, I'm going to be doing this such and such Friday. Friday come. You ain't say nothing about that. Don't Around the time. It going, you know what I'm saying? You said you going to do what you going to do. Yeah. Then, where you at? I just told you earlier this week, I'm going to be doing X, Y, Z. I don't remember that. Y'all need to start remembering shit and start remembering what you want to remember. That's another damn Take thing y'all need. need to start fucking doing. 
man. If it's something bad that we doing, oh y'all gonna remember that shit to the foot. <laughs> Y'all gonna remember that? Y'all gonna mention it three months later and every damn thing. Oh hell! Yeah. But when it come down to remember, actually remember important stuff that you' supposed to remember. Oh, you ain't gonna do that. See, that's why we got the vent right now. Because let me tell you, women do that. How many times do I say something and I say blank, 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 and then it happened, and then it be like, you didn't tell me that. I say I'm gonna do this. And then it comes, you never mentioned that. No, you didn't. And then we, you could go back and forth. They're going to swear you never did it. I'm going to start recording. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start recording when I say it. Start recovering conversation. And on video, not audio. Because they might say, oh, you might have just went in the bathroom and said that. I'm going to record the video so they can see themselves on the couch with their head down looking at the phone going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And they not listening. And then when that Friday come and, you say, and they say, nobody told me this, I'm going to pull the footage up. And I'm gonna show them the back of their head. I I'm gonna say, you pull the receipts up. Yeah, say, look, look, the receipts up, look at the back of your head. Why you going? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You sound like Elf. It's all that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I tell my wife. She's how I you didn't say that or I didn't say that. I said you want of course. Pull, you want me to pull the receipts up? I was sitting back eating my Canadian bacon again. This kind of kind of deep. This uh, we already talked about Malik Yoba and him oh. saying. Yeah, that's why I said we're, we're done with him. But him saying, is it a choice or a feeling and all these things. Now, I, I saw somebody pose the question, is love a choice or a feeling? You got to scratch the back of your head when you answer this question. And I don't want to hear that both crap. Uh, both is always a fun answer and it's an easy answer. But is it in your heart? Because the ladies want us to say it's in our hearts. Or do you just choose to love them? Mr. Anderson? Yeah. Both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not, not for me. I think, I don't know. I guess I'm more of a, I guess for me it's kind of a feeling. Mm. You just know. You know what I mean? And then, you know, like, you, know, you can almost say both because, like, you know, at the beginning, you know, you, you hit it off. You, you know, you got that chemistry, you know. Things are good, hot and heavy, kind of whatever at the beginning. And, you know, and so, you know, it's a feeling. Mm-hmm. You know, but in the same time, it's a choice of you know stay with them or not. You know, all the all the all the you know all the reality parts of it. You know what I mean? Is, is, is it worth it? You know, I mean, yeah, you may feel this way for, towards somebody, but all your other scenarios around and all the baggage that's or this, that's where the choice comes in. Yeah, you know, and so and that's kind of what what I had to do. You know, because mm-hmm. at the beginning it was a feeling. Yeah, you know it was a, it was a strong feeling. You know we had that yeah. you know that rabbit mentality and just you know apartment <laughs> department days. You know, <laughs> and, you know before we you know before we we got moved in together and mm-hmm. uh, you know then you know then I started seeing you know the baby daddies and the the drama and this and and um you know like my whole life was drama free. You know what I mean? I, I avoided it like a plague. You know what I mean? <laughs> and if it was coming my way, you know, get, get so the, wise man, right? You, know, here. you get you get the fuck out. You know yeah. what I mean? And um, but with her, I mean, there was just all these like Scenarios. what I would call red flags. I would have left in a heartbeat anybody else for some reason. That feeling though Made is what kept me it. make that choice to stay. Uh-huh. Does that make sense? Hold on, we got a pastor in here yeah. today. Oh, no. So you heard them gospel words? You know, the feeling helped him make the choice. Right. <laughs> Scorp, what is it? And like we said, both is banned. <laughs> Trust me, I don't have an answer to this question, so you can know. This a it's a rough ass question. It really is. God. I'm gonna scratch my head for real. <laughs> yeah, is love a choice or a feeling? You know, I'll, I'll start here before, so you can soak in it for a second, Scorp, and let's switch up the tempo on my own self. Uh, I'm gonna first off I do wanna jump out on the island by myself I like to be on this island sometime I'm gonna go on and say it's a choice now baby before you start putting my clothes in the suitcase don't put it in the suitcase <laughs> give me a chance to explain myself <laughs> no look the reason I say it's a choice though one I'm trying to go down a different path than Mr. Henderson because he kind of still said both, even though he was correct. Yeah. He is correct. I want to try my best to just choose one. So I'm going to say it's a choice. And the reason why, though, is because 
Yes, it's a feeling. Yes, so you know, it's all bubbling in your heart and you see all these pink angels flying around your head and like all the cartoons and Cupid shoots you with a plunger and all that shit like that. But at the end, <laughs> but at the end, <laughs> at the end of the day, the choice has to be made. The choice is yours. Are you going to? Yes, the choice is yours. Because the feeling that you have, you're going to have to make a choice behind that feeling. And you may look at her. You may see her eyes. You may see her toes. You may see her fanny. She might even do the proper dance when Juvenile says uh, for the 99 and the 2000. And you might get excited behind that, but at the end of the day, it's somebody else saying for the 99 and the 2000, and it's somebody else saying for the. And you're driving down the highway and. They think you think you're watching girls going wild because people ripping their shirts off on the highway. And as Tupac said, temptations are out there. So you still have to make a choice to control yourself, to give up your whole ways. Most of most of us men, when we come in a relationship, we show up as a hoe. <laughs> and, and we try to be the man they want us to be. But at the end of the day, we're just trick daddy. We're just a sluts. And then once we realize that we love them and we realize that feeling that mr anderson started talking about here we have to make a choice to press block on the hose we have to make a choice to press unfriend on the hose we have to make the choice to press delete contact on the hose until you look in your phone and you say i got no hose I got no hoes. I ain't got no area codes. Just your area code. <laughs> no hoes. Hoes. What about you, Score? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Both of y'all, y'all made some good valid points, though. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, you say it's a choice or. Man, I still is feel it a like a choice of question. Is it a choice, is it a choice, or, a choice or a feeling? A feeling. I think, I think I'm going to go with the choice as well. Simply because, you know, I'm going to try to break this down a lot different. This might be one of the best questions we had in a long time. This is a, but, um, it's a scorch. A feeling, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a scorch out there yeah. today. You can, your feelings may be wrong mm. to love somebody. That's true. Oh, hold on, Uh-oh. now. Talk that talk. Uh-oh. They might be wrong because <laughs> you can feel like you love somebody, but that person don't love you. Mm-mm. You know, you feel a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, you, you can. You absolutely can. And then with that, you know, that comes sadness. Some people get sad. Some people get depressed. You know what I'm saying? Some people feel have low self esteem about themselves. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they. Maybe you got somebody out here, you know what I'm saying, say this guy may have feelings in love with this woman, you know what I'm saying, and he doing all he can to get her attention, but she might not feel the same way as him. She might just be using him to just to get the stuff that she, that he giving her. And then in reality, when he finds out about it, then, you know what I'm saying, that's like I said, that's when folks go in deep depression about themselves or have low self-esteem about themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, maybe they not the right person for that, you know what I'm saying, that Gospel. particular person. But, yeah, it's a choice, you know. And, like I said, we all not wrong. Mm-hmm. We not. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a choice. It's, it's up to you to how can I put this? It's up to you to make sure that that person is the right one for you. Because I can say I've had probably been down in this situation before, and <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie. In you the had a choice to make. In the beginning, it was a feel. I put it to you like that. In the beginning, it was a feel. And was this just and. You know, some of it, you know, I didn't, like, go in a deep depression and all that stuff. I just, you know what I'm saying, I just kept my head up and just kept on moving forward, you know. Mm-hmm. 
I didn't look down upon myself or none of that stuff. All I just did was, like I said, keep my head up, keep moving forward. Like you know, said. keep pots, keep keep positive thoughts in your head at all times. Man, that's it's a loaded question. Yeah, it really is. I, I feel like nobody was wrong on it. I feel like it's some good service going on. Now, this is what I really want to get to: the fuckery. You know, once we get to the end, I start getting to the fuckery. <laughs> what I was getting at here, um, this is the interesting thing. Now, I don't know if y'all have been through this before, but even if you haven't been through it, you know how your brains work. So I do want to hear your thoughts. Now, I'm going to start at Mr. Anderson this time because I always want to switch up the tempo. Now, if you... First off, have you been in this? Have you ever had a a woman that they have a desire for something? They may want to they might want to tell you that they wrecked the car. You may have seen this in the group too. They may want to tell you that they uh broke your favorite vinyl record or your new acoustic guitar. So, and this is going to get quite graphic here. So, if you need to uh <laughs> if you need to just walk out of the, out of your chair, <laughs> did they try to offer you a sexual favor that they don't normally? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> a sexual favor that they don't normally offer you, like basically, the meme I saw it said, "Honey, I wrecked a car today. You're gonna get to do anal on me." Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah. Does this make it okay? <laughs> so if if they do something bad, but they offer you, they say, honey, you know, I broke your favorite uh, TV. Today we're having a threesome. Does it make you say, oh, okay. <laughs> you just forget about what happened? Or, or is your mind stronger than that? You say, hold on, we still need to address that. <laughs> You're not Ooh. getting off that easy. <laughs> As a man, that's tough. But <laughs> I don't know. I think I think I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah. And I don't think it's gonna fix it. It's not gonna change. You know, it's not gonna change my. What, what is your prize possession? So but I may take advantage person? of the situation. You know what I mean? What's your prize I already possession? lost something, so I might as well win something out of it too. You know. <laughs> so you know, and then instead instead of being like a reward for me, it's punishment for you. Oh, so you're gonna address her and receive? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna switch it around, you know, the, you know, because she's trying to give me like a reward system. Well, hold on. Me- that's gonna be a problem because mm-hmm. let me tell you how way women operate, and we all know how women operate. But she don't have to know what I'm, you know, how I'm just doing. just like when they say this. I want to tell you something, but promise you won't get mad. Mm-hmm. Now you don't know what they're gonna say, so you don't want to promise you won't get mad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hate because you're like once I don't know what you're gonna say. I don't even promise. I just say just tell me. Yeah, just go ahead and tell yeah. me. Yeah, and then you make that decision. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. When you, they're gonna think that, hey, you received, you you got to perform all you the anal against me no more. Yeah, you you got to achieve your goals today. So I don't want to hear about your broken coffee mug. What's your prized possession in you, uh, or something that you just? I want to make this personal for you, so you can <laughs> that if man. it was broken, you would sure. not be a happy man. I don't know because I'm not. I don't, I'm not real as materialistic as I used to be, you know. So I don't know, I'd say, you, I mean, say you cracked my flat screen. Yeah, you know. Boom. Now, does the threesome pay? For, does that pay for that? It doesn't pay for it. <laughs> that's for sure. Don't get out my wallet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, how about I say? How about we split fifty fifty? We pay the TV. I mean, you have sex, and you know we'll be, we call it even. You know, the split. You know, yeah. I have the threesome. You help me pay for that damn TV. Oh my gosh. I don't know, man. That's just. Uh, because I be, mm. cause think about it. If you say, honey, I'm still upset, she can just opt out. Or are you going to try to wait till afterwards? Oh, she can opt out all she wants, but then I'm really going to be upset. <laughs> so which one do you want, you know? I don't know. But it's not like we're going to dump them over no, the broken no, TV. No, no, so of course not. Is it just going to be... I mean, you get over it. Because at the end, you're going to just go back to the couch, like Scorp said. Right. And, and you're going to go up there out of anger, and you're going to have a broken TV. So... I mean, like, if it's an accident, you know, I mean, you know, you just got to, I mean, you're going to be pissed, you know, you're going to be upset, but at the same time, you almost have to let it go, but 
But she gonna offer? I guess you know it's a win win. I mean, it's a lose win, but at least it's better than a lose lose. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I just see the silver lining. I guess I don't know. Scorpio, if you get to go to the <laughs> swingers party for a a tinsome, but you are uh, she mistakenly busts the windows out your car. Mistakenly. Yeah. <laughs> My yeah. Wife. She did like those memes say when a woman drives over the curb and, curb and says whoops. No, and she hit the pole in the apartments and knocked the windshield <laughs> out. But she said, don't worry, we're going to have a tinsome tonight. No, fuck this. <laughs> the tinsome doesn't take care of it? Hell no. For what? <laughs> you bust my windows out my car. First and <laughs> foremost. You're going to have to pay. Or you're going to get your ass whooped. <laughs> Yo, choice. <laughs> A-O-B. You're not going to give her a chance to be like, no. Nah. <laughs> Door number like, one, right door number two. <laughs> he holding the cards. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's my prize position, my vehicle. Yeah. So what they got to give me the point A to point B. So what about the tensum? No. Nah. Are you going to tell her uh, after the tensum that nah, you're upset? I ain't going to tell her nothing. She might not make it to the tinsel. You either. I know. Because once you address her, she's going to cancel the tinsel. It's going to be canceled once she tell me she bust my windows out of my car. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I'm going to say, honey, it's okay that you broke the windows. No. I like, I'm going to say I'm into broke windows. That's no, my thing. You sound like one of those feminist guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear this? Do you hear? You're giving in. This not, look, they're going to go ahead and whatever your soul desire. If you want to rub them with blue magic, if you want to do a tensum, if you want to, whatever the things, if you want them to dress in a certain manner, maybe they're going to dress like Mystique from X-Men, <laughs> and they're going to come in there and do a backflip on it. No. <laughs> That's my car. Because look, I broke the TV and she didn't say nothing, so I'm thinking if she breaks the TV and I get to have a X-Men sex... <laughs> yeah. Now you may be into this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You that, may be into this. That may be why I don't cause that woman looked like blue magic. She looked like she'd been rubbed all the way down with it. So I'm, I'm, I got one for you. Go ahead. So if your I know your prize position. <laughs> so what is my one, cross possession? Your Xbox. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if your woman literally runs over your Xbox and she accidentally ran over your Xbox after she placed it under the wheel just to get your attention. <laughs> That's definitely got my attention. <laughs> Mistakenly put it behind the issues on all there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might not be paying her no attention, so you go in the bathroom or hop in the shower and she takes your Xbox and take it outside. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? And she comes in the house and says, calls you. You know what I'm saying? You runs out and you just see your Xbox all smashed. So it can not even be. She run it over. She can just be in here just beating the hell out of it. Oh, you don't on. know what's going on. Now this pissed me off. So, <laughs> so you going to take it. So you still gonna take that tinsel <laughs> over that Xbox? <laughs> First off, <laughs> let's be real. What the fuck I supposed to do with ten women? <laughs> uh-huh. Now threesome. That's one thing. A tinsel. I'll, yeah, you right. I see what you yeah. mean. Now. Uh huh. <laughs> Get all nine them bitches out here with my Xbox. <laughs> Oh Yo, Xbox and they're broken into pieces and all the games are scattered out of here. We're broken. You sure drew a picture right there. Yeah. It pissed me off. <laughs> oh. You need, to walk, you need to leave your seat? Yeah, I'm just... He painted the picture. He didn't, didn't way he said it. That yeah, she I gonna, had to paint the picture. She gonna him. beat it. And <laughs> I had to bring it back to the ass. Right. Oh, my gosh. But hold on, though. Like... Yeah. It's, it's a rough thing because... You but but you know what? You're right, too, because if you do have a tensum, one, it's, you're going to probably be completed before you get to four, <laughs> unless you're just going down the line. <laughs> and then, two, that's just one night. Once you do yeah, it, exactly. after you do it, you're going to say, yeah, I did that. Yeah, one night. Then I'm going to go back and look at all that. Your crushed Xbox. 
Oh my gosh. I'm playing the <laughs> game only, tonight. Only just to just to get my mind off this One stress. One night, like little yeah, little boats. Yo, I don't want to talk about no more little boats after this either. <laughs> <laughs> we already discussed. You can't be using that word when you're talking about I this. Love you, this for life. <laughs> little boat. Look. I'm uh I got some crying to do. Mm-hmm. We gonna uh, wrap this episode up because Scorpion made me emotional. <laughs> uh, I hope your woman don't listen to this episode. She need to hear this episode. I hope she, she, <laughs> look, if she listen, don't take your egg out on me. I just had to paint a picture for her. She right. probably gonna thank you for drawing it. She needs to go and get a, another Xbox and pretend like she broke his just to get it. Just to. <laughs> hey, have you seen like, it? I seen it. I seen that prank before. They be getting a, yeah, they get another Xbox. I saw back in the day when it was GameCube. This dude took a GameCube. Yeah. He had got another one, and he uh, threw it out the window. They had a two-story house. He was upstairs. He opened the window and just threw it out. And the guy was like, oh, man, what the fuck, man? What are you doing? <laughs> that dude lost his fucking mind. I, I, seen, I seen on a um, video, a YouTube video, <laughs> where um this girl would always want to go somewhere, but her dude always on the PlayStation. Oh my god! So she went and bought a, a old PlayStation. Yeah, he had the new PlayStation, the like PlayStation Four, and I think she went and got like a PlayStation Two or something like that, something similar to it. Yeah, and um, uh, she threw it. She grabbed the old one, threw it on the floor, or beating on the stump and everything. Oh, hell, he got pissed and everything. He she snatched the cord out the TV, then she just grabbed the old one from behind the TV. They started breaking it. And he lost his and fucking he, mind. He lost his mind. I bet. Oh. He lost his mind. Then at the end, she told him that was not his PlayStation. <laughs> that was an old PlayStation. <laughs> I be getting mad when they be sharing those memes on Facebook when they show like somebody submerging the PlayStation underwater or the Xbox. Yeah. And they say, when you cheat on me, that's what you get. I don't even want to see a picture of that <laughs> or nothing. See, that's his prime position. Yeah. I, I saw somebody uh, one time. They This was kind of smart. They got a... They went on the laptop and they got a wallpaper, and the wallpaper was like cracked glass. Yeah, they got that. They just had it on the cell phone. Yeah, so it was. It just was the wallpaper was that. But so when the dude came in, he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry," and it was an Apple computer too. And he was like, "Man, what? What are you doing?" He was like, "Yeah, it slipped." The dude before he could say it was a prank, the dude was pop, 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 just whooping his ass. I was like, "Oh, it's a prank! It's just a wallpaper, dude." <laughs> and they then, used to have. I don't know if they still got that from cell phone, <laughs> but you used to have that wallpaper. All you got to do is just shake your cell phone, and it'll show straight up. Oh, it looked cracked at first. Yeah, you shake looked, it in. No, nah, when you sh- after you shake it. Yeah, crack. Yeah, yeah, it looked like it's crack. Oh, that's crazy. And then they said, I used to have one where, um. Mine do flashlight when I do that. Yeah. My, I used to have a screensaver where it is, you used to, like, you have insects crawling on, on yeah. the top of your phone. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I used to have that. I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> I used to have that app, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spiders and uh, bugs and ants and stuff. Yeah, I used to have that shit, too. Have you seen those pranks in the hood? Mm-mm. Man, you need to watch this on YouTube. They have a, uh, they be like, they be going, it's these like nerdy white kids and they go in the hood and they always use hood terms, mm-hmm. but they don't, that's not what they mean. Like one guy, you know, those, uh, like those Laffy Taffy looking hands, like you get them in the gumball machine. Oh, really it's, stick? It's, yeah. They stick to the wall and stuff. Well, he went in the hood and he told this dude, he was like, what's up, man? You got hands or what? And he was like, what? He was like, yeah, you want to throw hands with me or what? And then the dude was like, what's up, then, bitch? And then he ready to get down. And then he so I was, I was then, then he's like, stupid. I'm talking about throwing hands. <laughs> I don't know how they like didn't get killed. Yeah. Shit, man. Yeah, people have got guns pulled on them for it. That's why I watch it. Like, I mean, because I'm white. Yeah. And I know doing that shit going in the black community is just stupid. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, you know, I grew up yeah. you know, street, you know, down in PC, you know? Yeah. I mean, Shit. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't even think about it. You know, it's not a game. It's like if you ever lived in those areas or you know been a part, you know better. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not a joke. <laughs> you know, because you, you're literally putting your life in, you know, on the line every time you do that. Asking for it. Yeah, and shit. Yeah. I mean, because yeah. I seen people, I seen people get shot over even littler stuff than Smaller. that. Yeah, but the hood. <laughs> yeah, you know, and these guys are out there, don't know what they're doing or where they're at. Check this out. I saw a guy. Even he had his coat, and he had put ground beef in his coat. 
and he were telling people, he was like, what's up? You want some beef or what? <laughs> and, wow. and then when they like run up on him, he'll open his coat and he'll be like, it's just ground beef. <laughs> like they use different terms. He even, uh, one dude had like a drink, like a soda in his thing. And he was like, uh, he was like, what's up? You trying to get pop? And I was like, huh? I was like, what you trying to do? He was like, I'm trying to pop you. And it was like, then he opened it. He was like, it's just a, it's just a Pepsi. <laughs> I'm like, man, you, y'all better quit using those terms. And oh, you get someone's pack and then <laughs> they, you, you say something like that. Because I've been, I've been in that situation. You know, like, I was on a basketball court. Somebody and the guy, and the guy threatened. He goes, I'll, I'll dude. He's like, oh yeah. And he's like, he just pulls that shit out. <laughs> you know, I'm like, people get killed for some shit yeah, like that. Yeah. Playing too much. It was the one, this one, and this is the last one, but this one I saw, this one had me laughing. I have to admit, this was a good one, but it wasn't an almost, they actually did get in a fight behind this one. The dude went in the restroom, and he was in the stall, and then the other guy, I don't know if the dude was black or white or what, but I don't, this, for this prank, it don't matter what color you are, nobody's going to deal with this. The dude in the next stall, uh, he put it on porn on his phone, and he was like, oh, Oh, and you could hear it. Oh, yeah. And so the guy in the next stall could already hear it. Then he had like some uh, dish soap, but the palm olive, the white dish soap. And he he gets at the bottom of the stall and he goes, oh, here it comes. And he squirts it on the dude's shoe. Oh. So you just see white secretion on your shoe. You're just like, oh, hell no. This dude nutted on me? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So there was no coming back from that. No pun intended. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. When once the other guy opened the door and come in there, <laughs> you just can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> once he uh, decided to go in, <laughs> uh, <laughs> once he uh, went in that room, <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, it's a prank." He was like, I, "And I heard him. He was like, I don't care what." It was. Like he was like, it's just a joke. He still was bop, bop, bop. <laughs> I'm like, hell no. You can't just because you got to put yourself in that situation. You just sitting there. Oh, first yeah. off, you hear it and you're like, ew, that's gross. Then you just look down and, oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, hell no. Is, my thing is, like, if you're willing to do this kind of pranks, you got to be willing to take the consequence that comes with it. Yeah. That's just how oh. it is. So, you know what I mean? Y- you ask him for it. Yeah. You, you nutted on him. That's what he thinks. <laughs> you can't say, "Oh, it's dish soap," or like, even the smell of it. He don't. He just sees that. Oh no, yeah, you just react. He just saw that, and he's like, "Fuck that!" I'm going in there. He probably wasn't done wiping. No. He probably had shit <laughs> flying all over there and fighting at the same time. Uh, shit got real. Like, no pun intended. Once again, uh, <laughs> we're out this bitch. Uh, just to let you know, you can definitely contact us at one hundred percent velvet at gmail dot com. Uh, super shout out to five hundred vodka. Super shout out to Doctor Chris Anderson in this bitch talking the real shit with us. Uh, all the listeners, keep tuning in. Uh, Lenopoly, as uh, we've stated earlier, Doctor Scorpius, the crown is on your head. That queen. Uh, any. Uh, how can I get a hold of you, Dr. Scorp? Oh, man. You can reach me at scorpionking3305 gmail.com. Like I said before, thank all the listeners. Thank Mr. Chris Anderson. Thanks for having me. Coming through with my other Scorpio. Yeah. <laughs> Scorpios in the building. Double Scorpions today. And we coming up soon. Y'all just wait. <laughs> And can I squeeze dish soap on your shoe in the restaurant? <laughs> no, <dude. Yeah. laughs> so I never did. So do I get extra points for the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> uh, it, do you have any info or anything that you're promoting that people need to know about? Are you like uh, a plumber laying pipe in the streets? Or no, you know, no. I'm just glad to be here. Thanks go. for the invite. You know, I enjoyed it. Um, shout out to my my velvet, you know, family. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoy y'all. I mean, I mean, that's my favorite group. There you go. So let's talk. Thank you, five hundred. Oh yes, oh, yes. five hundred so vodka. Five hundred. I'm waiting on that round table. Yeah, <laughs> I keep reaching out. We about to have this conversation. Y'all be sweet. We is out this bitch, and we gotta give a shout out to. Mama, <laughs> <laughs>